Hello everyone, welcome to your own channel, Theoretical Contest Matter Physics. Well, I guess all of you remember this scene from the movie Doctor Strange. Here, Doctor Strange is using time stone to somewhat annihilate and recreate an apple in time. Let's say you are a superhero too, and your superpower is that you can alter all the thermodynamic variables as per your choice. Uh, by the way, before going to the subject, tell me, which is more fascinating to you? to alter the time or to alter the thermodynamic variables. Remember, the direction of time is also the direction of increasing entropy. Okay? Okay. You may write your answer in the comment section for sure. Uh, however, coming back to the subject. So, you have the superpower to alter thermodynamic variables. And if I tell you to create an apple out of nothing in your desk, how would you do it? Uh, you may pause this video and think and then come back again or you may just stay with me to use your superpower profoundly. See, the total internal energy of an apple is you, right? Okay, so that's what you have to create for sure. But what else? You need to create an exact volume V in the atmosphere, right? That is, you have to create a place for the apple by removing the air there. That particular air has a pressure P. The total work needed for that, for removing this air, is simply PV. By doing these two things, that is putting you amount of internal energy in a certain volume V, you can get your apple. In other way, if there is an apple already on your desk and if you annihilate this apple, the energy that you should get is its internal energy plus the energy due to the collapse of the surrounding air into that place, right? So, that particular thermodynamic quantity is what you call enthalpy. Well, that is good, but there is no smartness in it. What I actually mean is, let's say you have gone to the market to buy some um, chocolate flavored ice cream and the price is say $5, okay? Now, if the seller is giving $1 off on that day, what would you do? Give $5 to buy it or just $4? Obviously, a smart choice would be to buy the ice cream for $4, right? Now, here, in the case of this apple, what's available for free is the heat energy. If the surrounding is at some constant temperature T, which is almost always the case, every time you are in the heat bath of your surrounding temperature or uh, maybe the temperature of your lab, whatever, the amount of this heat energy is Q, which is equal to Ts, of course. So, being a smart superhero, exactly what amount of thermodynamic energy you will provide to make the apple? A smart choice would be definitely U plus PV minus TS, right? And this is what you call Gibbs free energy, okay? Okay. Now tell me, if you are working in a region of zero pressure, maybe uh, you are an astronaut and you are trying to create an apple after, uh, let's say, landing on the moon, Fascinating, right? Okay, then the amount of energy you will be needing will be, as you may have guessed already, U minus Ts, because that pressure volume energy you won't need anymore. You, you don't have to create a space for that apple by removing some air, right? Okay, uh, and this thermodynamic variable is called Helmholtz free energy. Okay, now why they are called free energy, Helmholtz free energy, Gibbs free energy, why do we call them free energy anyway? That is because if you totally annihilate the apple, only that much amount of energy will be available for work. And the loss from the total energy, that is enthalpy, that loss is the entropy, that is the TS amount of heat energy will be lost totally. Okay, okay. Now let's come to a more important point in this context. Uh, how to become such a superhero? Uh, that part I am not so sure of. Uh, in case you get some hint on that, please feel free to write in the comment box. And thank you. Bye-bye for now.